normally do not do Dollar Tree hauls on a Saturday, but for my mental health, that's what we're gonna do today because the good Lord knows I've been trying to decorate this house for Christmas and every attempt I've made, like something's gone wrong. And I'm like, okay, today is also not that day. Yeah, I just, I don't know what it is this year. I usually always have it together. I always have a vision. A lot of you know how I shop now with my list on my iPhone. And it's really been like my saving grace and um, especially with like just trying to, you know, be prepared to give you guys content and it has just not worked out. So we'll, we'll see. So anyways, we're going to do a Dollar Tree haul. This one I'm excited to share with you guys because I've been holding on to some of the Christmas cards and I'm excited to show you guys what I found. Also, if you missed my youtube live i'll link it down below go watch it it was my first christmas junk journal video with you guys and yeah so you're going to probably see these christmas cards in the next youtube live which will be next friday but you know what i always say these for the very end but let's just look at them immediately so i love getting cards at dollar tree they are so cute i'm still waiting for the hand why do I call them handmade? I think maybe like the sticker or something on the packaging says they're handmade, but they come individually packaged um, in like plastic wrapping, whereas these are like just in the card section. Um, the bigger ones are $1, and then the smaller ones are 50 cents, just FYI. So I found this one, I believe this is a brand new card design. So write this on your list because it is so cute. It's just like that typical little snowy valley you just like want to drive through. It's very much, you know, Hallmark and I love that. Um, it kind of reminds me of KJP. Did I say his initials right? It kind of like reminds me of where he lives. If you don't know who I'm talking about, he's on Instagram. At least that's what I know him for, but I think they have their own like store where they live. And it's just, I think their house is like iconic actually. Like when you see a valley with the pumpkins kind of thing, it's like his house. Um, but I'm probably making no sense. So anyways, I thought this card was super cute. Here's the inside lining. So from a journaling perspective, there's a lot of space to write on. You can even cover this up if you wanted to and have more space to write on. So I'm gonna use that for mine. During my live, I was asked if I could do an entire Dollar Tree haul dedicated just to items from Dollar Tree that could be used for junk journaling. For the lady who requested it, I got you. Wednesday's haul is going to be all that. So uh, turn your bells on. Here's this one. This one made a, another appearance it's been around for several years, as it should, because I love the chalkboard look to this. It is a beautiful card and stunning in person. There's something about glitter in person that really does kind of like change the card. Because when I go when I go to edit, it just it's different in person. Okay, then we have this. Oh wait, hang on. This card right here. Now, this one I believe is also a repeat. Um, I think it was out last year and I really like Santa and the design because it looks very vintage. And that's like one of my biggest like passions with Dollar Tree. I love to hunt down anything that's vintage or just has that look because it's nothing in there's gonna be vintage, it's all new production, but there it is. All right, then I found this card and I really liked the whole plaid pattern. Now it says to dad, which is great. Like if you want to send this off to your dad, like do that. But from a junk journaling perspective, this is a really great card um, because they block it in a way that you can cover this up easily. So I really like that. So I'm definitely going to use this in my junk journal. And then um, here's this one. Anything with like those little townhouses, I absolutely adore. This has like a nice blue, you know, sky and wow, it's all blue on the inside. I really love like those cute little details. So I found that one. 
And then this one, hang on. I grabbed a couple of like questionable ones that you guys seem to like want me to haul um, from like Thanksgiving ones I found. But here's this one, which is a gorgeous card. Like this is just stunning and grab it for your junk journal because I'm definitely going to be adding it to mine. And yeah, it's just, it's beautiful. Oh, I just noticed something. Yeah, a lot of them have like a scripture on the inside. That is really cute. I didn't, did they do that to like all of them or no? But this one has it too, right here in the corner. Um, here's another really cute one. Um, this one says for dad. Now again, I am planning on using it for junk journaling, but I just thought the little birdhouse and the little birds were so stinking cute. I love all the snow in this, but this is my point when I show you guys cards like this. Now see in this instance, they grouped um, everything together and blocked it with a white backdrop, easy to cover. Now this one is the kind where you're gonna kind of have to cut around it. So if that makes sense. All right, then I picked up this one. This one's another repeat. I probably have several of these, but it's one of my top faves if not number one so absolutely love it i will say this i feel like halloween still takes the cake with the cards dollar tree had so many and so many amazing ones and so far i just i there's there's more christmas cards that are a flop than a success for me so all right then this one's pretty random, but I had to show you guys how adorable this card is. I'm definitely going to be journaling with this, maybe for either my December daily because Micah's birthday is in December, so I could use a cute little card like this. Now it says, yeah, it says for the birthday girl. So that's really cute because it doesn't have a number, you know, like you're turning one or two or three or four for this kind of card. So I really like that they kept it like, kind of neutral yeah even on the inside it doesn't say an age so i'm either going to use it in december for like micah's birthday spread in my junk journal or i'm gonna save it and maybe use it for valentine's day or i'm just gonna go get a double and do it both ways because i just think that's so cute all right now let's get into the highly questionable christmas cards okay all right this one says, Merry Christmas. Okay, so far it's like, all right, that's adorable. You know, he's got lights on his antlers, a Santa hat, it's very much giving um, Griswold, you know. And then you open it and it says, Merry Christmas. And now you have a moose card. So all your prayers have been antlered. Like, what? Was that supposed to be funny or like, did I miss like, did I miss something? Is, is there like some type of like moose joke thing that I just don't know about that makes this funny? Like, okay. Then we have this one. Santa tries Uber. Uber, where to? Santa, literally every house. Hope holiday fun arrives right on schedule. Um, then we have this one which there's okay she's very much pissed off and i i understand it um it's the most wonderful time of the year once i get these cookies made and king presents wrapped and decorating finished oh hi merry christmas what 
where's the rest of the joke? Cause it ain't here. I. She's mad, she's cussing. And then she says, oh, hi, honey, it's time to put the pudding down. Put it down, walk away, take off the apron. Yeah, it's night night time. Yeah. Okay. So there's that. Um, all right. Dollar Tree put out the square cookie boxes. You get two to a pack. I'll never forget when these first made an appearance a couple years ago at Dollar Tree, my mouth dropped. Like I will never forget when this like came to the stores. Now at my particular store, I only have this print right here, which has the gnomes on it. Um, but it's such a cute little box. They even give you the actual sticker to seal the box with. So whether let's say you're actually just doing a little like holiday baking. I actually, this happened in my last neighborhood. I remember like in our Facebook neighborhood group, um, there was someone who would like make holiday treats and she would sell them out of her house. And I thought that was absolutely fabulous because anything home baked is absolutely amazing. So this could be great for like a small business. Um, but I'm, hoping for like a gingerbread print or something so we'll see if i can like score another find there um then i picked up some tissue paper i'm a dollar tree tissue paper junkie what i love about this one is that it's a brand new print and it looks vintage so i mean just take a look at these snowflakes there's a lot more detail i don't know if you can kind of see them closely but they are stunning you get 10 sheets in here but just know that you probably get two sheets of the print and then like eight of the red. And it probably tells you in here exactly how many is the print and how many is the, um, no, on this one it doesn't say, but that's usually how it goes. All right, then I picked up these cute little lip lollipops. I believe they've done these for several years now, but they are so cute. They're just like a little lollipop and when you put them on, you get like Santa's like beard, which is so cute. Stocking stuffer. Um, and you've got the reindeer and it's like the, and it's like the Rudolph. Yeah, it's from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer movie. So super cute. And then we have, um, what's his face? What's his name? I forget his name. Um, comment down below. What's his name? The, the something, the something. Does it not say? You're probably saying it at the screen right now. And unfortunately I can't hear you. So anyways, these are cute. Also great for care packages. So I found those. All right, then I found some brand new um, puzzles and I had to just put you guys on them. I look at these actually almost every time I go into Dollar Tree because I've been shopping these books for several years now. How they do it, it's always a pack of four. Each book has its own color on the binding and then each book has a unique print in the backdrop. So this time it's books. Like that is so cute. I've, I've hauled some really cute ones in the past. This one has a peacock theme and all of them have this like a uh, cup of coffee. So, and then this one looks like blueberries. So darling. And then this one looks like, y'all, I don't know. I don't know what the hell this is. What, what is this? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. It looks like what the blue alien books I've been reading, like what they would eat. So I really don't know what that is, but um, but anyways, these are a fantastic gift as well, like into a care package. And then I found Spot the Difference. Now, what I love about these, and you guys need to put this on your shopping list, is that they're more geared towards adults. So, um, the images are not like kitty at all, and they are so cute, and they're actually kind of hard. So, yeah, it's like Spot the Difference, and there's just so many little things plus the images are great so from a junk journaling perspective these are going to be great to use as well so there's that and you get 26 puzzles 
in each little book and it does give you like the answers in the back but yeah you can definitely deconstruct this and use this in your junk journals why am i sweating because you live in florida and you're dressed like you live in wisconsin that's why okay then i picked up some of my favorite little um like these little labels these are just for some of my last remaining etsy orders um I, you'll see how i'm gonna use them in my hopefully like my next friday live um but i love these of course I had to get them in christmasy colors and then i just found this sticker sheet i probably have several of these but anything with like food and sweets like it just always ends up in my cart so i thought this was really cute i liked the little popcorn and i think i'm gonna use some of these as well in my junk journal when i start like my daily entries which i'll talk about that so um all right so i got that and then i found some more treat bags but hold your horses because they are darling now my store has four prints the fourth one is a snowflake it was in the back i got lazy and didn't grab it you know what i mean um but let me show you guys my third favorite which is the snowman now what's interesting about these treat bags in particular from dollar tree because dollar tree does a massive variety of treat bags um different shapes different prints these however come with the little sticker to seal the bag because it's usually like those little like ties what and then we've got ourselves a cute little gingerbread print so this actually comes in at my number two favorite usually anything gingerbread is my number one favorite but i don't know it was a hard one because here's number one i mean the trains just took me out I have never seen Dollar Tree do a print quite like this. So this is fresh, it's new, and I love it. I want to see more trains, so we'll see. All right, then I also found the little booklet of sticker tags. These are great. I hoard these. Like, if I'm a hoarder for anything, anything from Dollar Tree, number coming at number one, it's not pens, it's not stickers okay it's these it's the christmas gift tags like i just love them and this year i'm also going to be using them for junk journaling so i can't wait to do that they're just so cute like look at them and sometimes the like to and from you know you can either like cut it out like if you look at this one with the little lights like you could just cut it out and use this little block instead if you wanted to in your planner and that would be really cute like you don't just have to use them for gift giving i'm just gonna kind of go through these so you can see what is in every sheet feel free to just pause so that you can kind of sweep through everything I think you get doubles. Are we going into... Yeah, I think we're... They give you two sheets of everything. And then here is this booklet here. This one looks like... I really don't know. I don't know if these have like a particular theme. But... I do think these are new. I'm, or I'm hoping Dollar Tree is giving us new prints. Ooh, this all blue one is very pretty. Yeah, and then we're just going to get dupes again. By the way, I'm wearing a Dollar Tree headband. Like, how cute is this? Okay, into our last bag, I picked up some more ribbons. I picked up this, like, green gingham. I also picked it up in red gingham. These are not in the holiday section, so go hunt for these in the floral section. That's why I talk about how labels are important. It can tell you where things are um, and how long it will essentially be there. Then I found this whole box that really looks like some of the ribbons I've hauled from Hobby Lobby. 
because I want to do like a gingerbread theme with these like really fun vibrant red and green colors. So this one's kind of hard to see, but it says, let me, I gotta open these. Like that's just, nobody can see it that way. All right, so here is this one. Super cute if the camera would focus on, there we go. And there is like a wire trim, so it'll be easy to like mold. So we've got that one. And then this one is probably the best one in my opinion. So definitely put this one on your shopping list. But Santa is just absolutely darling in this. Like, look how cute that is. And all of these were together in a display box, an afterthought in terms of just like the design and the way that it printed on the ribbon. Like, it just, the ho ho ho's were not centered, the font's not it. So this one's a no for me. Um, then we have this one, which is a yes, an absolute yes. Add this one to your shopping list as well. It is so freaking pretty that I don't even know that I've seen anything quite like it even at Hobby Lobby. Like this little candy cane theme-ish that I kind of see with this is so pretty. Here's another one that, yeah, it's just, it's a little green print. Nothing. Nothing wow, I guess you could say. And then we have this one, which I do think is kind of borderline wow. It's pretty simple, but they did a glitter effect on the green stripes. So it's really beautiful in person. So I would say that these four right here are definitely, which they're just kind of, oh, that's not working out. But these four right here are my personal favorites so we've got that one and then this one was on its own it's just a good plaid I've been wanting to bring it home so I could just kind of look at this without the wrapping it's very pretty I it is really pretty like I love the gold and it's just the right kind of plaid Dollar Tree doesn't always nail the plaids for me because I have like certain plaid colors that I really like but this one's gorgeous and I love that the edge is a gold detail, which I don't know if you can like really see that, but it is well done. I also picked up more of the Christmas bells. You can see from the label, they're crafter square, but they're Christmas because the label is green. So I just picked up gold and green and then pretty random, but I found a brand new Bic pen at Dollar Tree. I've been kind of waiting for this moment because I feel like it's been years since they put out the Bic Velocity pen, which I found it through Dollar Tree and it turned out to be my favorite pen. So when Dollar Tree stopped carrying it, I would then go buy mine from Amazon. So now we have this one, which is the Gelocity. Maybe it was Gelocity, whatever. Um, this is the extra smooth gel pen and you just get one in here. So I'm so excited to try this out. Yeah, so. I found that and then I also picked up these little gingerbread felt stickers. You get four in here for the price, but they are so darling. You guys, so many crafts and DIYs for the kids, for you, junk journaling, go grab that. Oh, here's, I also got the bells in red. I thought that I did. So also got them in red and I had to go back and get another one of these santa scarves with the bells they're hidden in like the little white fluff in that haul i showed you guys that you could tie this into a bow and put it into your tree and as soon as i said that because i thought of that like when i was doing it i was like i have to go get another one um so i'm thinking this is going to end up in my guest bedroom so super cute i'm thinking of like and strapping two to like the headboard one on one and one on the other and then draping garland in between so that's why i got a second one and that's going to be it for today's haul i hope you guys enjoyed drop your shopping list down below and i'll see you guys actually i'll see you guys tomorrow for another dollar tree haul bye